We're now here at the reception. Standing, please, ladies and gentlemen, while Wissom says grace. <laughs> Dear God, for what we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Amen. Okay, the bride groom are now at the table and check out this amazing cake with the little brown lace preserve um, and pale white rosanna with the flowers. Right now this is a special video for fans of Pauline Allen. She's got many many friends on Facebook and here is Pauline eating, I think she's eating fritter rolls <laughs> and really really enjoying like them. Oh does it? Okay I've got some rumours that it's apple pie that she's eating. Um, as you can see Danielle's there enjoying a drink and then Sharon's over this side. Here's Des having a little drink as well. So well done Pauline. Um, this is for your fans on Facebook. Okay, now Phoebe has just demolished what? <laughs> what has disappeared from this plate? Huh? Can you show us uh, what it was? Chocolate cake. And? Okay, and did you give any of the babies any? The Sylvanian families? They're all looking at you like dogs watching you eat, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy? Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, and then going around the room, the Spenlove side of the room over here, and the Bunting's over the other side, and Tarzana's over here with my dad. Sounds with her eyes straightened. As the father of the bride, I would like to welcome you all here to this happy occasion to bless the marriage between Tara and Wissam. Um, they make a lovely couple. <laughs> they, make a, they make a great couple. So please raise your glasses for a toast to the bride and groom. First of all, I would like to introduce myself to everybody. Uh, who, for, who, for, for those who don't know me, my name is Usam. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I would like uh, Chuck Strong for his uh, nice speech, really. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, I would like to welcome everybody. Um, and really, I can't describe how it is very important for everybody to come to our, to, to my and Tara's party. It's very, very important, and I would like to thank everybody for that. And uh, and I would like to thank the pretty girl, because she made the eyes, and I would like to send for her a special toast. Oh, um, baby! baby. baby. really has been helping Tara and me to, to collect bits and pieces to, to make it a happy birthday. Thank you. I would like to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. There's one story I've got to tell you, and that is that they invited us for a barbecue in Safaga. Now, it started off with the Sam saying, Keith. We have to go to the petrol station. <laughs> and I'm thinking, all right. You know. So he gets this little bottle of petrol. 
and he comes back and he start he fires the barbecue up. Now they live three stories high and there's a veranda all the way around. So Wissam puts this petrol on the on the barbecue. Now at work I'm a health and safety man. And there's this fire coming round the side of the veranda. And I'm saying, Wissam, you put too much on. He goes, oh, I'll be all right, Keith. I'll be all right, Keith. I'm saying, Aileen, it's going into our bedrooms. I said, Wissam, what are you going to do about this? <laughs> I'm going to, put it out, put it out. I'm not bothered about the barbecue. We'll go out for a meal. Yeah. Anyway, in the, in the end, in the end, the barbecue appeared. Apparently it was pork, pork and beef. I didn't know which was which, but we ate it. <laughs> Number three, outfit for the wedding. <clears throat> this is a bit, uh, uh, I'll get myself into trouble here. I said, what are you wearing for the wedding, Doc? She says, uh, I don't know yet. I said, why don't you wear that thing you wore at my brother's? Because there's nobody here coming tonight that went to that do. You look absolutely gorgeous and nobody will know. Amy says, I'll know. <laughs> so she goes out and buys another new outfit. And the fourth one, <laughs> the fourth one is, before you go out at night, this is the one that's going to get me into trouble. Before you go out at night, the woman will always say to you, Before you go out at night, your missus or your, your, your girlfriend or anything will say, Have you got enough money tonight? Now, with Sam. Just hesitate a bit, and there could be 20 quid on the way, because they're, they're worried that you haven't got enough money to buy a round. Guess what, lads? It worked. And thank you very much. I think I think Keith makes Les Dawson look dull. <laughs>